Welcome to Legends with Bevan Jones. Thanks to Anytime Fitness Glenelg and Bigfords Australia. Yes, g'day and welcome to another edition of Legends of Bevo, the show where we chat to past and present sports people, entertainment icons and those doing great things in the community. And boy, oh boy, we have the great pleasure tonight of being here at the Port Adelaide 150th year gala event. And we're going to chat to some past legends of this great football club. Really looking forward to it. Let's see who we can find. Yes, well, we're joined by uh, one of the stars from the 2004 Premiership, uh, kicking a few goals and um, uh, just what, can you believe that day, Tobes? Um, you know, it's hard to believe now that going back 16 years ago is since the 2004 Premiership. Talk to us about actually the day itself and the celebrations afterwards. Well, the day was obviously an amazing build-up. You know, you're sort of locked the way down in underneath the stands and you, uh, you know, you're getting your pep talks and you're going through your, your last instructions on the day. Um, then the build-up, you know, you start to hear the crowd and, you know, and the intensity starts to build within your warm-up and, and just getting out in the ground is, you know, it's one of those things that's really hard to explain. It's something you really got to experience, you know, and, and the fact that I can't really describe it would suggest that it was a pretty awesome experience. Um, but the celebrations, you know, that, 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 <laughs> that's, uh, that was second to none. So, um, you know, I think it went for about two weeks after the, after the grand final. But, you know, it, it, it's something that you, you know, experience with your family and, you know, you spend a bit of time with your family and then same with the footy club, you know, you, it, it brings, you know, a lot of people really close and really tight. And who were some of your closest mates and do you still keep in touch with them these days as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, Chad and, um, and the Cornses, uh, Brogues and Dom and Kari, obviously some, some of the, uh, the closest mates. Um, and yeah, we, we stay in touch quite often. Um, you know, even Shawnee Burgoyne and Lady, um, Peter, Choppy, they're all, you know, it's hard to sort of really single anyone out. Um, we all have our little cliques and, and we all hang out with each other at different times. But, um, you know, looking back in hindsight, you know, I, I'd say we're probably one of the tightest groups that, you know, you would experience. And uh, how do you see the power going this year in 2020? Obviously, there's a lot of expectations and talk about them making the eight. Hankley's come out and talked the tough talk the other week. Uh, how do you see the guys going? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm forever the optimist, so um, I'll always back us into the hilt. Um, even with a young core group, you know, you see Rosie and Butters, everyone talks about them. Um, you know, I would expect that they would step up again, and, and I like what Kenny, Kenny says, you know. He said it in sort of 13, 14, you know, that we would come, and, and the boys did. They responded really well to that, so it puts them under the gun, but no, I, I think it's a great, great move. Well, obviously, uh, tonight's such a big celebration, the 150th gala event for the Power and the Magpies. Have an awesome night tonight. Thanks for your time, buddy. Thanks so much. You too. Thanks. Man. So we're joined by uh, another one of the heroes from the 2004 Premiership side, Dean Brogan, one of the only men, or actually the only man, who's played in an NBL pre Premiership as well as a AFL Premiership. Brogues, great to have you on again. Let's Thanks, mate. Go. Yeah, it's good to be here. 150 years. I certainly won't be here for the 300th, so better make a night of it. And that uh, 2004 Premiership, um, obviously it's been a long time between drinks now. Um, what a feeling that must have been when that final siren went. Yeah, look, it's only really now when you're with everybody now, um, you really think about it. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a significant time in all our lives and for the club. And it's good to celebrate it, especially on a massive night like this for the club. And uh, 2020, obviously there's been a lot of talk about how the power's going to go this year and, you know, Hanks has come out and said we're looking pretty good, but watch out for the power. Um, what's to look forward to for 2020? Oh, uh, look, everyone looks good this time of the year. You know, the sun's out, all the boys are fit, but it was pretty pleasing the way we went about it against Brisbane and what was really good is um, all the stuff that the boys, have, the team's been working on transferred really well into that game. So, look, the boys are really healthy at the moment. I think we've, other than Ollie Wines, everyone's ready to go, so... That, that's a good sign, that's a good way to tell where your list is at and uh, look, everyone, there we go. And before I let you go, um, what does uh, this amazing club mean to you, Brokes? Oh, look, it means everything. I think I'll, what I'm doing in my life now probably wouldn't be without being, spending time at Port Adelaide and all the people involved and, um, you know, lifelong friends and, you know, being affiliated to a club like this, uh, it means a lot and... Um, you know, it's something like tonight, it really sinks in that you're a part of, you're, you know, you're part of the family. Well, Dean Brogan, thanks so much for having a chat to us on Legends of Bevo. Enjoy the night, mate. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Thanks, thanks mate. No Cheers, worries. Cheers, mate. Good, mate.
Yeah, we're joined by another um, power legend, uh, obviously son of a gun, the great Russell Ebert, and we're joined by his son, Brett Ebert. Um, great career with the with the power and the Magpies, a McGarry medalist like your dad as well. What does this great club mean to you, Ebo? Yeah, obviously it means a lot. Um, proud history and being 150 years old is just, uh, just unbelievable. It's a bit scary to think about. So, um, yeah, uh, ready to enjoy the night and uh, I'm actually looking forward to seeing all the highlights from uh, from the black and white days. Yeah, the old days. Yeah. Absolutely. And I mentioned before, obviously, winning a McGarry medal like your dad. Um, what a feeling that must have been for you. Yeah, obviously it was. Um, I was a bit surprised on the night. I think I was only 18 or 19, so um, to win it was fantastic. And uh, the first father son, so and I was younger than dad as well, so I always let him know that one. So. <laughs> and uh, beyond footy, you've gone on a, and played a bit of footy uh, with mate Ryan Bridges up there in Goa. Um, how did you enjoy your time up there with the Magpies? Oh, it was great. Loved it. Um, played there for a couple of years, and uh, I didn't go very well, but I tried hard. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a PT business going now, is that correct? Is, yeah. is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I've been, uh, been running that for six years, and that's going well. So get down to Grange and come out. And what's the name of it, mate? Is it just Brett Ebert Fitness? Or? Pretty much, Ebert Health and Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Well, Ebert, I'll let you get, get down to your mates and uh, get involved. Have a great night tonight. Well, thank Thanks you. Time, Cheers. Mate. Cheers. Enjoy. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> So we're joined by uh, one of the stars from the uh, very first Port Adelaide Power side back in 1997. Mate, what was it like representing this great club in the AFL? Oh, having a bit of history with the Magpies um, growing up in the area, supporting the team was pretty awesome. And then to be able to be given the opportunity to play for the Power was, was great. Um, back in those days, to be involved with something new in the AFL was exciting. Yeah, we had involvement with the club's song and the Guernsey colours and all that sort of stuff. So it was, it was pretty good. It was, it was cool. Bringing all players from all over Australia together was awesome. Um, you know, we had a, a mix of young guys and experienced guys. It was, it was exciting. So it was great to be there. And obviously 150 years tonight, we're celebrating this great club, the gala event. What does the Port Adelaide Club mean to you, Brad? Like I said, growing up in the area, it, um, you know, it holds a lot of um, special memories. I remember going there as a kid watching, um, you know, Back in the day, Russell Johnson and Russell Lee, but um, you know, being involved with Craig Bradley and all those boys back in back in those early Magpies days, watching them, and then being involved as a player was exciting, and um, you know, to follow them into the AFL and the success they've had with the two 2004 Premiership, and you know, I'm just hoping there's another one, you know, around the corner for these young boys um, because there's a lot of tradition here, and you, you want to. You want to have success, and the Magpies did, and we hope the power can continue to do that. Obviously, 2020 is a big year for the club. Kenny's come out and said we're, we're going to be uh, one of the teams to watch this year. What are you most look, looking forward to with the power this year? I just want to see them play consistent footy, and you know, you know, when you go and watch them, they're going to they're going to rock up and play hard footy. Um, you know, probably a few years we've had a few games that have gone the other way and had some big losses. So I just want to see them be consistent. I think this group is. Um, They've, they've got a, some good draft picks this year. Um, I think the guys that are, had that experience are, are quite level-headed and they're going to perform well. I think it's a good mix they've got going now. So I think Ken and Jared Schofield and Brent Montgomery, some of those old guys coming back into the coaching staff, I think that's positive as well. So, Well, let's hope so, mate. Fingers crossed. Uh, thanks so much for your time, Braden Lowell. Thank you. So we're joined by another one of the uh, 2004 Premiership players, Roger James. Um, mate, what's this uh, great club mean to you, Port Adelaide, 150 years? Oh, mate, it's a massive achievement for the club. Uh, a club that's so successful, it's just an honour to be here. And the 2004 Premiership, when that final siren went, what was the feeling like? Oh, massive relief. Like, uh, to achieve a childhood dream, obviously, and uh, playing AFL Grand Final, it's the biggest thing you can do, and massive, massive relief. And you still keep in touch with some of the boys from the 2004 Premiership as well? Yeah, yeah, no, we keep in touch. Um, I've got... Uh, Nick Stevens and Brent Guerrero that's come over from Melbourne tonight to join us. So, uh, yeah, a heap of blokes I still keep in contact with, so it's great. And I've heard you're a bit of a uh, country footy legend. You've, you've won a few premierships up there and you're still coaching and playing out there now as well? I am still coaching. I'm not playing. Um, but, no, I enjoy footy. It's great fun. Uh, I love just to get around the blokes and, yeah, enjoy it. Well, Roger James, thanks so much for your time, mate. And, uh, have a great night. No worries. Thank hey, you. Thanks, buddy. Yes, we're joined by another Premiership star from the Magpies, Darrell Bullace. Um, mate, what does 150 years of this great club mean to you? Oh, look, I feel um, very fortunate to, um, you know, I had the privilege to play here for 14 years and I made a lot of friends here. 
had a lot of good times, uh, played a lot of finals, so I'm, I just feel very fortunate I had that opportunity. And what was, which, one, which one of your premierships was your favourite and why? Oh, uh, look, that, they're all special. Um, you know, my, obviously your first one's always special, but 1994 when we were underdogs against the Eagles and, and uh, down, be down six goals at, you know, in the first quarter and come back and win, that was, that was pretty special. And then probably my last one as captain, you know, to be captain and a premiership captain at this club is, um, you know, I was very lucky. And what do you think made Port so formidable back in those 80s and 90s? I think we just had a, a good camaraderie, there was a good culture at the club, um, we had a winning culture and um, you know when I, when I came here everyone believed in that and, and you know that, that rubbed, on, rubbed off on anyone who came into the club and, and um, you know that stood us in good stead for a very long time. And who was uh, your funniest teammate and why? Funniest teammate? Um, well that, that, that's a difficult one, they all, all had moments. Um, there was some with dry sense of humour, some with good sense of humour, there was some with weird sense of humour, so you know, I'd, to pick one out, I'd, yeah, I'd, I couldn't really pick one out that would, um, that stands out as a highlight. R obviously Rizza was, you know, he, he always had a, a very sharp sense of humour and he still has today, so um, he's probably one that I'd, I'd say that uh, stands out. And you still keep in touch with, uh, with your Premiership teammates and that sort of thing as well? Uh, yes, yeah, certainly, we um, as a group keep in touch with uh, a group of about eight or ten of them and, and you know we catch up at functions like this or at the footy or go to the power or um, you know so there's a few opportunities each year that we all catch up we we're all, we're all busy with family but you know two or three times a year we catch up and it's great fun. Oh that's wonderful Daryl thanks so much for your time today mate enjoy tonight. Okay thank you very much. Thanks a lot buddy. Cheers. Cheers mate. Yes, so we're joined by another 2004 um, star. Unfortunately, didn't get to play in the Premiership, but was such a big part of it, of course, as the skipper during the year. And uh, unfortunately, went down with that knee injury, but we still love him. He's a club legend. He's uh, gone on to coach the club and then had a bit of a stint there at the Gold Coast Suns. Matty Primus, great to have you on Legends with Brevo. Great to be here, mate. Terrific night. Uh, so what are you up to these days? Um, obviously, I mentioned before you are coaching at the Suns, a bit of time as the assistant coach there. What are you up to nowadays? I'm uh, just doing a bit of work with Southport Footy Club up in the Gold Coast. Uh, I do a little bit with uh, Queensland Sport and Rec and um, a little bit of a few other things. So just enjoying life and uh, spending a fair bit of time with the family. And you still keep in touch with uh, quite a few of your teammates as well these days? Yeah, I do. Yeah, we, we keep in touch. Uh, the AFL circle certainly helped when I was in that. You see a few guys, but um, yeah, there's a few guys I keep in touch with regularly. And tonight will be a great night to catch up with a few I haven't seen for a while. And uh, what did you love most about playing at the Port Adelaide Footy Club? Oh, look, just the passion of the players, the staff, the fans and all that stuff, of the, the, the passion for the club that they had week in, week out. That was the greatest thing about it and uh, the reason why we love playing footy. And uh, who was your funniest teammate and why at the club? Uh, Byron Pickett, because um, he was just a cruisy individual, uh, was able to pick his moments when he needed to uh, make, the, make the group have a real good laugh. He was, uh, he was a ripper. I'm looking forward to catching up with him tonight. Well, Matty Primus, thanks so much for joining us on Legends of Bevo tonight and have a great night, mate. You too, mate. Thanks, mate. Thank you so much, buddy. Really Cheers. appreciate it. No worries. Hey, uh... Yes, well, what a joy it was to speak to all those past legends. Thanks so much to all those guys for their time and to Daniel Norton and the Port Adelaide Footy Club for letting us film down here tonight. I'm um, sure it's going to be a fantastic night. Hopefully enjoyed hearing from some of these past legends. And let's go Power Magpies in 2020.